Well, to solo or not to solo? What am I talking about? Well, here it is. It's very cold outside. It's freezing cold. Nope, not. It's the middle of July and it's very hot. Actually, I think the high today is supposed to get close to 100. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about a solo stove fire pit. So why am I talking to you about that in the middle of July during a heat spell? Uh, stick around for a minute and you'll find out. There's a reason. Hello, my name is Barry. This is Adventures and Stuff. It's all about our traveling adventures, outdoor fun, boating, boat maintenance, fishing, working on things, and just living life. I hope you'll join me. Please subscribe if you like this type of content. Hit the like button if you enjoy the video. And hit the notification bell to be notified of new content. So come join me, just living life. Okay guys, this is what I got in the middle, the black bag and the solo stove inside. On the left, you see an optional item I got, the bonfire stand. And then on the right in that box is the bonfire shield. And you'll see both of those products in a minute. But the bag holds the solo stove, so it's portable. You can carry it around, and it weighs about 20 pounds, has very sturdy handles. And this is the actual solo stove itself, so if that's all you got bought, this is what you would get. Awesome product, very high quality. Okay, these are the components that I bought. First of all, I bought the solo stove, and this is the bonfire model. And with it, it comes this ring that goes on top. And when you store it, you can turn it upside down and um, put everything inside. And so the components I bought, that came with it. And also the black bag you saw in the beginning uh, came with it. And it's a carry bag. And you can actually turn it over upside down and cover it up if you like. And then I bought the bonfire shield which is this piece and it has a top and so basically what it does it fits on top right there and uh, you have this that goes over and it's a um, shield which keeps when you burn logs and you get them real hot sometimes sparks will fly up so it just is just like a spark arrestor it keeps anything uh, for popping out of the fire everything is contained inside which is an awesome piece and I bought that extra and then another extra piece I bought that I thought was very useful is the bonfire fire stand and you can see it's a round ring it'll also fit inside and basically what it does you can take your bonfire stove and just sit it on top of it it raises it up a little bit and then you know if you're lighting a fire and you're on a concrete patio like i have here you could put the bonfire itself directly on that but if you're on a wooden deck you probably wouldn't want to do that because you don't want to um, the heat from the fire pit to damage your deck so if you put that ring underneath it it elevates it just enough lets enough airflow get under there and it'll stay cool underneath it which is awesome so all together, the accessories I bought, I can put them like this. I take the ring. Actually, I put the ring on first. Excuse me. That goes over the ring. And it's got little grooves that slides down in. Also, the shield came with this extra box that has a couple tools that you can use that are also stainless steel, you know, to pick up the lid and not burn yourself if you want. And, you know, move it and put more wood in there, whatever you wanted to do. And also, I plan on using these also as fire pokers or sticks to help adjust the fire, poke it up a little bit. So... These are all the things I've got with my bonfire. 
Now the technology around the fire pit, if you see right here, these holes, they go all the way around and it's got a double wall inside and oxygen or air goes in these holes and if some of them will flow underneath the fire pit and come up here, other ox air will come out these holes right here. And then whenever, and I'll take this off for a second so you can see that better, but these rings, when you get a hot fire, actual, you'll see little flames coming out of here and you can go online and see lots of videos about the solo stove. And when that happens, it's what they call the secondary burn. And that's when you become your fire pit becomes smoke free because it's burning off any smoke that might come up. So like it says, it's virtually smoke free. And then when you're done, you let the fire pit burn completely out. All the ash this goes down in the bottom. And you can turn it over after you make sure it's good and cool, it's not hot anymore. And just pour the ashes into a trash bag or out into a flower bed, you know, wherever you wanted to put it. Just make sure there are no hot coals in there. And that's the basic principle behind it. And then, like I mentioned earlier, the ring that's on the bottom, you see holes down here as well. That just allows air to circulate underneath the stove. So you, it's okay to put it on this ring on a wooden deck, which is a great feature as well. So as you can see, you know, from my perspective, what I know about it, and like I said, I have not lit, had a fire in this one yet but I have sat around my brothers and it's awesome. Um, it's expensive, but it will last a lifetime. And um, the technology behind it works. Uh, I've experienced that, like I said, and it makes for, you know, great evenings, you know, sitting around an open fire, burning some wood, and it's just an awesome time. So for me, it's well worth the investment and uh, I'll just keep mine covered and even stored away during the summertime. But like I said, it's made to last. One other piece of advice, you can see, I don't know if you can tell it in the video, but you can see some of my fingerprints on the stainless steel. I will set mine up and I've read about before you actually light it for the first time, use some stainless steel cleaner and just clean the fingerprints off of it because as this thing gets hot, you know, stainless steel will turn what they call a patina color so it'll get a little coloring in it which actually looks cool but if you don't clean your fingerprints off before you light it the first time my understanding is you will be able to see those fingerprints first that will patino and it kind of might look strange it might not bother you but to me I don't like that personally so before I light it the first time I will remember to clean it real good on the outside and wipe all my fingerprints off Yeah, the solo stove comes in basically three different fire pit sizes. You have the Ranger, which is a little bit smaller than the bonfire. Then you have the bonfire, which is the one that I bought. And it's, come, you can, it's portable. It weighs about 20 pounds, so you can carry it around in the carrying case. It has handles. And then they have a larger model called the Yukon, which is mainly a stationary model. Uh, it's got a bigger diameter, holds with bigger logs. I think the bonfire... I remember you can have logs up to like 16 inches <clears throat> in there with no problem. And, uh, but it's an awesome, awesome thing. But you can get those three sizes. They also make a little small cook stove that you can uh, use. A lot of people use those for camping. But uh, those are the different sizes you can get. Now this is my brother's. Uh, he built this, this brick wall around it. It's got air holes that can breathe um, but his dog would walk up next to it and send his hair sometimes so it kind of kept his dog away but it also looks great also the solo stove my wife will like it because she won't smell like smoke so like i said before it's very hot out here and i am starting to sweat so i'm ready to go back inside but i wanted to bring you this video now like i said because if you're interested in one of these stoves or fire pits and you've been looking for a while now is actually the time to buy it and uh, I had a great experience ordering directly through a uh, solo stove. Uh, got it in a timely fashion, and I've been, like I said, very happy with it. I have not lit it yet, but I will do that first cool night we get and try it out and hopefully post some videos on that as well. But an awesome investment in my opinion, and I'm very happy to have it and very excited to see and use it uh, this fall. 
So hope, hopefully this review was helpful. If it was, please uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, share it with others, and help me grow this channel. And I appreciate you watching. Y'all have a great week. Just make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. If the video was helpful, hit the like button, share it, and make any comments. Thank you again for watching. See you on the water soon.